Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. All right, today I'm going to start uh, preparing my ginger and my turmeric uh, for it to go outside. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is force it to germinate. Uh, at the moment, we have some little sprouting nubs that aren't really sprouting yet. see those tiny little nubs there but as of yet they're not sprouting up and what we want to do is force them to sprout and again on this one you can see the nubs but as of yet they're not sprouting so yeah we're going to force them to sprout now to do that we're going to rehydrate them because they've been sitting in the pantry and they have dried out uh, we also want to make sure that they don't have any anti-sprouting compound on it. Now, the best way to break down that anti-sprouting compound is with some absorbic acid, uh, which to the common man, that is vitamin C. Um, so these are some, or this is a vitamin C and manuka honey tablet. The manuka honey is not going to hurt, might even help. So we're just going to put that in there. Give it a stir around. I'm not after total dissolving, but I do want to get it spread through that water a bit. All right, that's most of it dissolved. The rest of it should dissolve over time. Um, all right, as you can see, I've got the real flash container going on here. Used milk container. Um, and the other half of it comes into play tomorrow because we need to soak this for 24 hours to rehydrate them. So we'll just pop them all in there. And as I said, I'm going to give these 24 hours to rehydrate. And then after 24 hours, we will pot them up and I'll join you for that bit. Now we've actually had 48 hours of soaking in the water. Um, I got distracted yesterday and didn't get around to them, but that's all good. As you can see, they've all plumped up nicely. So they swell back up to a full size. So, uh, looking much happier to shoot now than what they were earlier. And you can see there's a lot more color in that water. Uh, it's either from that vitamin C tablet or it could be a bit of colour coming out of the turmeric. Now what we're going to do next is pop them up. So we use our other half, half of our milk container. So we'll just get all our potting mix in there. Turmeric up this end. Okay. Now we're just going to cover it with the soil. And now we're gonna go and sit in a north facing window. And here we are almost three months after putting uh, these non-shooting tubers into the ground. Uh, we now have this plant here, which is probably about a foot and a half tall. And this little fella here, which is really struggling. Um, it's probably about five inches tall. Um, so we are finally starting to get some growth happening they have been very very slow growing okay so if we lift it up okay there is our original ginger corn and as you can see, it's not putting any additional shoots or anything off. You can actually break this new corn off. Now the sun's come out just to make it hard to see. Um, you can break that new corn off and the roots are attached to it. And you can plant that and then you can put the old corn back in the ground and see if it'll produce another shoot for you. I'm not going to do that because... 
I can't see any additional shoots starting to form and it just will not be worth it. Okay, so we've got this fella here. Again, we don't have any additional shoots starting to form. So we will plant that one as it is. So we did get a success with the supermarket ginger. Um, that's ready to go. I'm gonna go plant that out. I'm not gonna show you the planting process because at the moment it is storming like anything. Um, in the same container, I'm gonna plant this one and see if we get any sort of development off it. Um, to see what happens with it. May as well keep experimenting. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the turmeric was an absolute failure. Ginger got a little bit, not a lot. Ideally, if you're buying them from the supermarket, you want to get ones that are green and shooting. At the time I bought these, it was too cold a time of year, so they weren't going to shoot at that time. What I have done is gone and bought a couple of turmeric plants. Uh, we have here a Madras turmeric, and this one here, which I am going to really struggle to say, is a... Uh, Kemalawak, uh, which is a Javanese turmeric. So I'm gonna go plant these ones out. They'll get their own pots. Um, the ginger and that little piece of turmeric will get its own pot. Um, once they start coming up for next year, they're gonna be a lot better. If I can get these plants going, then I'll be able to continue them into next year much better. Than trying to start them this year okay almost a month on from that uh this one has put a new leaf or two on not a lot um this one down here not doing much but it is sending a new shoot up so that is good to see uh, i did put that last piece of turmeric in there and it's done absolutely nothing all right over here the javanese turmeric we have another shoot coming up that one's still growing good and the madras turmeric is still doing well so there we go um all in all uh y yes you can grow uh, ginger from the store-bought stuff but in all reality make sure it's something that's already shooting before you bring it home uh, trying to get something that's not shooting to shoot is really really hard with this stuff um, all right thank you very much everyone for watching and bye for now